안녕하십니까? 2018학년도 9월 고1 전국연합학력평가 영어 영역 듣기평가 안내방송입니다. 잠시 후 2018학년도 9월 고1 전국연합학력평가 3교시 영어 듣기평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 수험생 여러분은 편안한 마음으로 방송에 귀를 기울여 주시고 감독 선생님께서는 스피커의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주십시오. 수험생 여러분은 답안을 작성하기 전에 반드시 답안지 왼쪽 해당란에 성명, 수험번호를 정확하게 기입하고 표기하였는지 확인하시기 바랍니다. 듣기평가 문제는 1번부터 17번까지입니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 문제지에 있는 다섯 개의 답지 중에서 맞는 답 하나만 골라 답안지 해당란에 다르게 표기하십시오. 그러면 지금부터 3교시 영어 영역 듣기평가를 시작하겠습니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Did you hear our school baseball team won the semifinal? Yes. I can't wait to watch their final game. Do you think they can win that game as well? 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kate, are you looking at the restaurants for dinner this Friday? Yeah, we have two choices, but I can't pick one. Let me see. Oh, it says here that this one is under construction until next month. 3번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. May I have your attention, please? This is your principal, Mr. Adams. Last Thursday, after school, one of our students was unfortunately involved in a car accident while jaywalking in front of our school. The student got hurt. because he didn't use a crosswalk to cross the street. It's very dangerous to cross the road illegally because you can't always see approaching vehicles. You might want to cut across streets to get to where you need to go, but doing so increases the risk of getting hit by a car. For your safety, we cannot overlook this situation. Once more, I strongly advise you not to jaywalk. 4번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Daniel, I see you're reading a book. What's it about? Hello, Miss Williams. It's about time travel. I'm a big fan of science fiction. I know that. But why do you only read science fiction? I feel like reading science fiction makes me more creative. I see. But if you really want to improve your creativity, you shouldn't just read science fiction. It would be better to read books on various topics. What does that have to do with improving my creativity? Reading many kinds of books will make you see things from many different perspectives. That makes sense. With more perspectives, I can be more creative. Exactly. Reading books on various topics will help you think outside the box. Okay, I'll try it. Thank you for your advice. 
5번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hi, Angela. How are you feeling? Perfect, Mike. I'm so excited to appear on your stage. I'm glad you're here. You look great today. I heard you went to Paris last week. Yeah, right. I was featured in the Paris fashion show. After the show, I traveled a little and took so many photos. Wow, you must have been busy. I'm honored to have a famous model like you on my stage. My pleasure. The dresses you made are gorgeous. Thank you. The theme of today's show is nature, so I made the dresses with only natural materials. Oh, I see. When I got dressed for rehearsal, I felt really comfortable. Good. Our makeup artists will get you ready now. Sure. Is there any special pose for me on the runway? I asked the other models to walk slowly to emphasize the soft line of the dress. So, walk slowly to the music. Okay, I got it. 6번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Jenny, I finished designing our soccer team's uniform. Can you find any differences from the previous version? Wow, it changed a lot. Oh, you put the team name at the center. That looks great. Thank you. It really makes us feel the team spirit. You've also added stripes on both sleeves. I think it looks better now. I'm glad you think so. And what do you think of the V-neck design? The V-neck is more unique than the round one. I like it. Can you tell me about the stars on the chest? It shows how many times our team has won the league. Oh, it has three stars because we've won three times. That's fantastic. Yes, it is. How about the pocket? You mean the pocket under the stars? It looks convenient. You did a great job. Thanks. I hope our teammates like this uniform design. 7번 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, what are we going to do today? We planned to go to the beach. But I checked today's weather forecast and it's going to be rainy all day. Hmm. Then, how about going to the art museum instead? Okay. I heard there's a Picasso exhibition at the National Art Museum. Great. Do we need to buy tickets in advance? Of course. Otherwise, we would have to stand in line. You're right. I'll book the tickets online. Should we drive there? Well, it's hard to find a parking place on the weekend. Taking the subway is better. I agree. Which subway line should we take to get there? I'll look it up and let you know. 8번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 제이미의 송별회에 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. David, have you handed in the science assignment? Yes. I'm happy that I finally finished it. By the way, are you going to Jamie's farewell party tonight? Yes, I am. It's so sad that she is moving that far away. You're coming too, right? I really wish I could, but I need to go home early today. Why do you need to go home early? My grandfather is in the hospital, and my parents are going to visit him tonight. I'm sorry to hear that. 
Do you have to go too? No, my little brother will be at home alone, so I have to babysit him. I see. You will take care of him. Yes. Can you please give this present to Jamie and tell her that I'm sorry I have to miss her party? No problem. I'm sure she'll understand your situation. Kuban. Hello. How can I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation for a rafting trip this Sunday. Lovely. We have two options. A full day trip costs $100 and a half day trip costs $40. Children under 10 are half price. All right. Do the prices include lunch? Only a full day trip includes a riverside barbecue lunch. Okay. Then I'd like to book a full day trip for two adults and one eight year old child. Beautiful. A full day trip for two adults and one child. That's right. Can I use this coupon from your website? Sure. With this coupon, you get 10% off the total price. Great. I'll pay in cash. Amy, have you got any special plans for this winter? I was thinking of joining the junior winter camp, so I got this brochure about it. If you're interested, let's read it together. Okay. What's the purpose of the camp? It helps students boost their leadership skills. Sounds wonderful. Wow, we can participate in lots of activities. Yeah, like hands-on workshops, team games, and even a treasure hunt. It says the winners of the treasure hunt will get a gift card. Cool. Why don't we sign up for this camp together? I'd love that. How can we sign up? We can do it online. Oh, it says registration is limited to only 50 students. We'd better hurry. 11번. 업사이클링 챌린지 2018에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, Greenville students. We are delighted to announce that the Upcycling Challenge is back for 2018. In this competition, your job is to create something useful from waste or unwanted items. The competition is open to all students. Individuals or teams can take part in this challenge. Make sure to hand in your entries to the teacher's office by Thursday, October 25th. Also, all the entries should be submitted with an entry form. You can receive the entry form only at the library. Three judges will choose five winning entries to receive the principal's award. The winners will be announced on the school bulletin board on November 9th. We're looking forward to seeing your creative ideas for saving our planet. So don't waste time. Upcycle today. 12번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 구입할 텀블러를 고르시오. Emily, what are you doing? I'm looking for a tumbler for our camping trip. That's great. If we buy a tumbler, we don't have to use disposable cups. Let's choose one. 
What do you think for capacity? I think one liter is too much. I agree. It's too big and too heavy. So, which material do you prefer? Stainless steel or ceramic? Ceramic looks fine, but it can break easily. For camping, stainless steel is better. You're right. And we should get one with a good hand grip. Okay. A hand grip will make it easier to hold. Then we have two options left. Which one is cheaper? I don't want to pay more than $40. Me neither. Let's choose the cheaper one. Minho, I heard you're making a presentation in geography class. How's it going? Not good. I'm not sure whether these slides look quite clear enough. Could you check it for me? Sure. Let me see. You use a graph to support your idea. That's great. And what about the final slide? Hmm. I know you want to provide more information, but I think it has too many words. So it's hard to understand the main idea. You mean it's too lengthy, right? How can I change it? I think you need to use short phrases instead of long sentences. You mean that I should make the conclusion clearer with fewer words? Hi, Mark. How are the preparations going for the club festival? We're working on it. Is your club going to run a booth like last year? No, not this year. We're going to do something else. What's that? Our club will hold a charity event in the auditorium. Oh, does that mean your club room is empty on the day of the festival? We need another room for our Chinese costume show. Actually, James from the dance club is using our room that morning. Maybe it won't be a problem. Our show is after lunch, so we'll only need the room in the afternoon. Hmm. You can check if the room will be empty by then. I'll give you James's phone number so you can call him. 15번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 제인이 브라이언에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Brian and Jane are a married couple. One day, Brian needs to use a car and borrows Jane's. After Brian leaves home, Jane gets ready for work. She realizes that one of her credit cards is missing. Jane goes through her stuff, but she can't find it. She is about to call the card company to report the card missing. Then she remembers using it when she went to a gas station the night before. She thinks she left it in her car. To check if it's still there, Jane calls Brian. In this situation, what would Jane most likely say to Brian? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good afternoon. Today on Amazing Animals, we will look at some animals with the ability to survive even the harshest circumstances. 
Have you heard of animals falling into a deep state of sleep in winter to survive the cold? Our first example is frogs. If you see a frozen frog that isn't breathing during winter, the frog is sleeping. Bears also sleep in the winter. During this sleep, bears don't eat or drink at all for three to six months. Another example is bats, the only flying mammal. In the winter, bats will sleep in caves either alone or in groups. Lastly, nearly all snakes experience some form of deep sleep state during winter. Isn't it amazing that animals overcome harsh winters through sleeping? That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow when we will talk about insects. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good afternoon. Today on Amazing Animals, we will look at some animals with the ability to survive even the harshest circumstances. Have you heard of animals falling into a deep state of sleep in winter to survive the cold? Our first example is frogs. If you see a frozen frog that isn't breathing during winter, the frog is sleeping. Bears also sleep in the winter. During this sleep, bears don't eat or drink at all for three to six months. Another example is bats, the only flying mammal. In the winter, bats will sleep in caves either alone or in groups. Lastly, nearly all snakes experience some form of deep sleep state during winter. Isn't it amazing that animals overcome harsh winters through sleeping? That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow when we will talk about insects. 16번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은 17번. 언급된 동물이 아닌 것은? 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다.